and welcome to Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand one very important PYQ that had appeared in the UGC Net Economics examination of the year 2021. It was from the module of Microeconomics and today we are going to understand the concept that was asked in the paper. The question that we are looking at is from the perspective of microeconomics module of the UGC Net Economics paper. Now here, if we go and read the question, it talks from the perspective of indifference curve. So first let's read the question and then let's analyze what exactly has been asked. So in case of indifference curve of the two goods X and Y, as the consumption of commodity X increases, what happens? Okay, if the com consumption of commodity X increases, then what happens? Now, when we look at a question, we have to look from a broader perspective, which means that we do not have to just look the question and start doing the answers, right? When you practice the questions, you also are supposed to identify, okay, what is this indifference curve concept? Do, do I remember the concept? Do I remember the concept or the properties that have been uh, mentioned in the indifference curve concept? Do I know who did recognize or introduce the concept? to the world. So all of these are simple small details that everybody should look at while solving the PYQs, while solving the practice questions. So that you will not just solve the questions correctly but also will have a broader knowledge about a specific concept. Now when we talk from the perspective of indifference curve, indifference curve was a geometrical concept which was introduced by Hicks which is J.R. Hicks. J.R. Hicks and Allen, two economists who introduced the concept which was actually the ordinal concept. Now in the initial times of the demand theory, the, uh, the concept that we were knowing up until now was given by Marshall which was a cardinal concept which measured utility in terms of utils or some numbers units. However, gradually it was known that utility or the satisfaction that we reason or individuals receive from consuming commodities cannot be actually measured in terms of some units. It can be maybe ranked in correlation or it can be um, maybe done through, understood through an indifference curve. So ordinal theory was basically introduced in economics demand concept, okay, and utility concept. So here, now that we uh, know all of this about this concept, now we need to deal with this simple, simplistic indifference curve concept of what happens when we increase the commodity or increase the consumption of one commodity over the other. What will happen? So, now over here you have been given four options, okay. Now the options are also very simple. I am right now also addressing to all the students who uh, have just started preparing for their UGC net examination in economics especially and who will always get confused because of these tricky concepts. Now what are the tricky concepts? Let us understand. First MRX, MRS, XY which is marginal rate of substitution of X for Y increases but later on MRS of XY decreases. So the first option says that okay marginal rate of substitution will first increase and then decrease. Is that the correct answer? or just will increase or just will decrease or will remain constant. Now to identify with all of these first we should know the concept and which is why one very important point very key point while solving any question whether of economics or any other question you must remember that do not look at the details of the options. 
first look at the question and try to solve it without the options hide the options and then try to solve the question because the brain will work in the most simplistic and executive manner once you look at the question uh, options you might get confused you might get confused of the trickiness of the options variety and which is why first look at the question and solve it so first let's solve it and then let's go back to our options now here let us draw an indifference curve and let's start with the concept what has been asked here firstly they have mentioned about the mrs which is marginal rate of substitution the rate at which you are going to substitute one thing for the another you you have gone for shopping and you want to buy some clothes okay you you're buying some clothes okay and you also want to buy some um, let's say furniture related commodities some some home decor commodities okay but you have some limited budget or time and which is why you are going to choose okay what to buy more how much money do i have so there's always a choice there's always a trade off okay and which is why when we talk about trade off then we talk about okay what are you going to choose more or what do you require more and on the basis of that idea on the basis of your necessity you or on the basis of your utility satisfaction you are going to choose one commodity more over the other commodity and which is why marginal rate of substitution concept will occur so let's say that we have okay now let's say we have this graph and on which we are going to draw our indifference curve so first before drawing the indifference curve we are we are going to identify what does x axis and y axis represent what does x axis and y axis represent commodity commodity x that you wanted to buy and of course commodity y okay let's say you you have purchases of rice and uh, wheat or grains okay and which is why let's say in few months you do not want to um, you do not want to buy rice more okay everybody is very weight conscious diet conscious so they reduce rice and they would focus more on the grains or coarse coarse grains okay so you always have options and in this way we can suppose two any goods and one of which you are going to buy more consume more so that you will gain same amount of utility now when we talk from the point of view of utility we also no need to note that indifference curve we are talking about indifference curve which is which is a curve on which any point will fetch you the same amount of utility or satisfaction right same utility or satisfaction so with this idea of indifference curve we may point out let's say earlier we were at this point all right so now let let's point this out here as well all right so here you can see that you have point a which in which you consume o x one amount of commodity x and o y one amount of commodity y 
Now going back to the question, they say that in case on the indifference curve that we just made of two goods x and y, if the consumption of x increases, so let's increase the consumption. Okay, now we are going to increase the consumption of commodity x over here. So let's say that we increase it by some amount over here, say x2. So x2, now let's draw this again. Okay. And we'll join it again with the y-axis. Automatically, you will see over here that y2. Over here, you can see that y2 has a decline because of the increase that you made of commodity x. So, what happened over here? Now, what happened was a decline. Now, this is a slope. If you look at a, a small triangle, this is like a small triangle, right? So this is the base, right? This is the height and this is the slope. So slope is decreasing because we are going more towards the X commodity and less towards the Y commodity. And because of this slope, which is decreasing, we say that indifference curve has marginal rate of substitution which is going to be diminishing right now marginal rate of substitution diminishing we can write this by saying that marginal rate of substitution of x y is equal to mu x upon mu y now simplistically this means that we are substituting more of x for y we are giving up y commodity we are sacrificing this is a sacrifice that we are making and for which we are substituting more of x so now concludingly what can we say what can we say for the concept or when the commodity x is being more consumed what can we say for the marginal rate of substitution that the slope is diminishing so the marginal rate of substitution xy is diminishing or decreasing. Now that we address the concept over here, going back to the question again, we can easily find out the correct answer to be this. In case of indifference curve of two goods x and y, as the consumption of commodity x increases, the marginal rate of substitution xy is going to decrease. Now, of course, this concept can be easily dealt with only in one minute if you understand the concept of indifference curve, if you know the concept, if you know the properties, and also if you know the small principles which are used in the concept of indifference curve which is why conceptual clarity over here is very very important and even to solve something basic like this you need a few important concepts with you right so this was it for this particular question we are going to see you with more updates on the various pyqs of the economics paper of ug senate examination and till then keep updated with our latest concepts and latest videos. Keep liking our videos and subscribe our channel Ecoholics. Thank you.